Hello, Jim Steska here, coming to you from Fredericksburg, Virginia, with my recipe of the week. Uh, the recipe this week that I chose is shrimp feta wrap. Okay, very uh, easy to make. Uh, probably if you have all, all the things uh, ready to go, uh, however long it takes you to cook shrimp is about how long it'll take to uh, to make this this uh, delicious meal. Okay, uh, I usually eat a lot of wraps uh, for lunch. Okay, uh, very very uh, easy and, and convenient to uh, to take with you, especially if I'm on the road. Uh, I travel on the road a lot, um, and, and and sometimes it's during lunchtime that I am on the road. I could easily eat one of these while uh, while on the road as well. Okay, so if you find yourself that you're on the road a lot, this is something that you might want to uh, pack in a uh, cooler bag uh, that I suggest as well. Okay, uh, what you do is you take a uh, a wrap. Now I use this type of wrap. This is the one I highly recommend. This is Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Lavash Bread. I think that's how you pronounce it. But um, this is a highly nutritional wrap. And I get these at BJ's. They come about eight uh, eight wraps in a in a pack. Okay, and sometimes I cut them in half. And sometimes I'll uh, use the whole wrap. Uh, for this recipe, I do use the whole wrap. Okay, and just uh, some of the nutrition. They're only uh, for a whole wrap is 100 calories, which is uh, excellent. If you do a half a wrap, it's 50 calories. Okay, and it's uh, very low carbohydrates. Seven grams of carbohydrate. Okay, three grams of fiber. Uh, so it's it's uh, very very highly nutritious. Uh, way to get bread, if you will, uh, without having to uh, eat a whole bunch of carbohydrates uh, and, and calories. So, uh, so I take one of these wraps. Uh, what you do is you put about two cups of salad. I take uh, like a a bag salad and 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 put about two cups of salad uh, uh, in the middle of the wrap. Okay, or at the end of the wrap, really. Um, and then I put uh, cut up about a third of a cucumber. So put some cucumber uh, on there. Uh, grape tomatoes I use. I cut those in half. Uh, probably about 10, 12 grape tomatoes I'll, I'll put on there. Uh, and then uh, feta cheese. Okay, I put uh, fat-free feta cheese. Uh, is what I use, the Athenas brand. And uh, put about uh, a quarter cup. Okay, a good amount of feta cheese, and it's, it's a feta wrap, so you put a good amount of feta cheese uh, on this wrap for uh, for good flavor. Okay, um, now co yeah, I cook the shrimp. You can cook the shrimp any way you want. I cook the shrimp. Uh, I, I sp put it in a uh, pan, spray the pan with some uh, no calorie spray uh, so it doesn't stick. I uh, put the shrimp in there for a couple minutes each side till they're done. Uh, and I'll put some hot pepper flakes in there to spice them up a little bit. Okay, maybe take about five, five to eight minutes uh, to cook the shrimp. Okay, uh, and when they're done, about six shrimp is what I use for this recipe. Okay, uh, when they're done, I uh, put the shrimp on top, and then I uh, uh, fold the ends in. Uh, now it's kind, of, you know, you have to. If you if you've seen uh, if you've ever gone to a burrito place and and you've seen them make burritos. Uh, it's kind of a similar way, but you fold in the ends and then fold it up until it's uh, it's all wrapped up. Now I, I show a picture here. I use tin foil, okay, and put wrap it all up in tin foil and close the ends up on both sides. Wrap the ends up on both sides uh, so it keeps it all together. And what I do, uh, the best way to eat this, in my opinion, is just to peel. Uh, take one end of the tin foil and start peeling it down and bite it as and, and peel the tin foil as you bite it. Uh, on down and that keeps it all together uh, stuff doesn't fly all over the place uh, and everything like this so I, I believe if you try to eat it without the tin foil it would be uh, it would be a mess okay um, now I don't th there are it, this recipe didn't call for any uh, particular dressing or anything like that uh, but if you want to use dressing I'd probably use a Walden Farms balsamic vinaigrette a no calorie dressing Walden Farms I've talked to that about that uh, kind of dressing in the past uh, Walden Farms is a, a zero calorie uh, brand dressing okay and they have a balsamic vinaigrette so if I was going to use I didn't use it for this recipe if I was going to use one that's what I would use 
okay now some modifications that you can make uh, uh, you could put just about anything on a rat really but instead of shrimp you could use chicken and I've made this with chicken as well okay if you have any leftover steak or you want to cook steak special for this recipe you could put some uh, cut up steak uh, on this and make a steak feta wrap okay so steak feta wrap chicken feta wrap uh, you could use anything uh, anything like that okay uh, is what I would particular uh, recommend is to potentially substitute as far as vegetables go you can put any kind of vegetables you could add uh, green pepper red pepper anything like that you could add onions to it if you wanted to uh, there really is uh, infinite amount of possibilities in terms of vegetables uh, that you could use with this particular type of wrap uh, again, roasted peppers uh, in a jar would be good uh, you could use uh, jalapenos uh, as well. Uh, you could add a little salsa. Okay, uh, anything like that would be good for this type of wrap. Highly nutritious and uh, and delicious. Okay, so I have the nutrition information with this as well. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll give you a link to my uh, website, stescafitforlife.com, so you could uh, get all of the supporting information. Okay, I also provide a link again to the Beachbody products uh, that you could research and perhaps uh, place an order if you like. If you need any information or, or need to talk to me about uh, your fitness and health or, or any suggestions or anything like that, if you have any comments, uh, please, uh, I do welcome comments. So may God bless you with excellent health and bon appetit. I hope you uh, try this recipe and enjoy it. Take care. Bye.